This midweek, we take off with mid-haul budget carrier AirAsia X, which has seen its numbers recover as borders reopen. Maybank IB already has a buy call on the airline, but tweaked its target price lower from three ringgit fifty-eight to three ringgit and one cent. First half core net profit of 8.7 million was actually below Maybank's expectations, but the six month revenue for the same period of 1.06 billion was actually above its expectations in that respect. Results came in below expectations due to higher than expected expenses, one of which was higher than expected aircraft leasing expenses of just over 28 million ringgit. That being said, Maybank is still expecting the second half to be a lot stronger on seasonally higher demand and fares coupled with sequentially lower expenses. After taking into account more passengers in FY23, higher average user charges and higher aircraft leasing expenses, Maybank IB actually cut its FY23, 24 and 25 EPS by 16, 29 and 26 percent. Though Maybank concedes that the second quarter was disappointing, there is still upside from AAX having its PN17 classification lifted and contributions from Thai Air Asia X. So only Maybank covers AAX according to Bloomberg, so while it did lower its target price at the new one, it still implies a possible upside of around 34% from what it is trading now.